In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to change the color of dresses into any color you like using Adobe Photoshop very precisely and clean. So let's jump into the tutorial and see how it is done. I have downloaded multiple images from Onsplash.com to show you how you can change the color of not only dresses but also any other object which has an one and unique color, like cars. So without any further ado, let's start this tutorial. As you know, there are many ways to change the color of subjects in Photoshop. For example, one of them is the hue and saturation, but it would not give you an optimal result every time. For example, if I try to select the dress color here and change the hue slider, you will see that it has not done a great selection and it has not selected all the colors because this is an 8-bit JPEG image and it's not a 16-bit RAW. So the hue and saturation way is not a great way here. So what is the best alternative way here? I will show you. Just delete the hue and saturation layer. Now we have to select the dress color. There are multiple options to, for selection in Photoshop, for example, the quick selection tool, the magic wand tool, but I prefer to use the color range here. I will open the color range dialog box. You will see that you can here select the different part of the image, for example, the skin, the dress uh, and I want the dress uh, everything which is white is selected and everything which is black is not selected uh, for example your Photoshop uh, the selection preview might be on none you will see the image itself and the preview here but you can change the preview to grayscale to have a bigger preview here you see that it has done a great job selecting the dress but it has also selected the background. We don't want the background, but it's not important. We will take care of that later. I will press OK. Now you see that it has selected the dress very well. Now uh, we come here and the best way I told you is the solid color way. I will cre create a solid color layer here. And you can select whatever color you want. For example, I will try to select a red. And press OK. You can change this later to any color you want. Now just change the blend mode from normal to soft light. Now you see it has perfectly changed the color of the dress, but we have a problem and that is the background as I said before. But it's really easy to solve. I create a new group layer here. Now we just have to move this solid color layer to the group. Now uh, we select the group and uh, we create a black mask for the group by holding the Alt and clicking this mask button. You see, you see that everything is like before and nothing has changed because there is a black mask here and it is, and it is concealing everything which is under it. Now we have to use our brush tool and select the foreground color as white to reveal uh, what is under this black mask. I will zoom on this and I will pick my brush tool and uh, start brushing these areas to reveal what is under it. You do not have to be careful because there is also a mask here which has selected the dress and I am using this upper mask which is for the group to reveal what is under this group which is a solid color layer. Now you see that we have perfectly changed the dress color really well and there is no artifact in the dress. Now you can double click on your solid color layer and change the hue of the dress to any hue you like. And by moving to left you can uh, decrease the saturation of the dress and moving to the right increase the saturation of the dress. And by moving down you can make it darker and moving up make it brighter. Really easy. You can perfectly change the color of the dress to any color you like. Now in this second example, if I try to select my t-shirt using the color range option, you will see that it will also select a huge amount of the background and also the skin of the model. So the color range option is not a great uh, way here because the hue of the skin and the t-shirt and the background are really identical. So what is the best way here for selecting the t-shirt? I will try to use the quick selection tool. 
I will zoom on the picture. Uh, you can uh, hold the Alt and uh, right click to change the size of your brush. Uh, and remove it to change the size of the brush. And now I will try to select the t-shirt. It's gone out. Uh, I will fix this later. I, I will just do the rest of the t-shirt. For re removing the parts which are not a part of the t-shirt, just hold ALT. It will become a minus sign and you can remove this part really easily. You do not have to be so precise because we will take care of the parts uh, which are not uh, a part of the t-shirt in the masking process. But now we can just hold ALT here and remove this part. And select other parts. really easy this is a decent selection of the t-shirts now again like before I will create a solid color layer here and for example I try to pick a color whatever you want you can pick because you can change it later and now I will change the blend mode to soft light now you see you can change the color again to any color you like but now we should just perfect some of our selection here which uh, we select our mask and we select our brush now we can select your white foreground color as white to brush the areas you want to reveal this solid color uh, there if I go out you can, you can change the foreground color to black and remove these areas really easy uh, I check other areas. Again, I change the foreground color to white. Now you see we did a perfect selection of the t-shirts and now we can just change the hue of the t-shirts using this hue slider to any color you want and if you you think the saturation is really high you can move this to the left to decrease the saturation and move to right to increase the saturation and moving up you bring up the brightness and moving down you decrease the brightness and you can select whatever hue you like i will try to select the yellow color because i think it's a perfect fit to this image like this and we have done a great job changing the t-shirt color using the solid color layer in the third example i have already selected the car using the quick selection tool so i do not take your time anymore and i have created the solid color layer with the mask and i will enable it and there is a problem here you see that it has not changed the color of the car like other examples which has which it did a great job uh, and what is the reason? The reason is that uh, the saturation of the car is really high. And what we can do here is to create a vibrance layer and uh, bring the saturation to minus 100. And it has brought the saturation of the whole uh, image to one, uh, minus 100. And I do not want that. Uh, one thing I can do is to uh, hold the Alt and uh, copy this uh, mask of the solid color layer to the saturation layer. Now you see that it has only brought the saturation of the car to minus 100. Now if you enable the solid color layer, you see that it has perfectly changed the color of this uh, car really well. Now you can change this hue of the car to any hue you want really easily and perfectly. And you can also change the brightness levels you can change the saturation level, you can even make it a black BMW uh, whatever color, color you like you can change it if the saturation is high you can bring it to the left to make it more natural and press OK now you can see that it is perfectly changed 
I hope you learned something new from this video and if it was helpful to you, do not forget to press that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos about photography, videography, b-rolls and etc. Have a great day guys!